Today's going to be a really special session because we are going to dig straight into KV Core. First off, welcome to the community. KV Core is a platform that we all have access to here inside EXP Realty. In fact, it's provided by the company and it's not some dumbed down version. The crazy part is we get the entire, like the full meal deal here um, just for being part of the company. And I think that's pretty incredible. Um, so today we're gonna talk about how to use it, what parts you need, and what are some of the add-ons or hidden tricks? How do you get this thing going without going and getting a, a degree in um, uh, in computer sciences or something like that? So we're really gonna dig in and we're gonna give you action steps to take, but we're also gonna do predominantly screen sharing today so you're able to see exactly what we're doing, how to set it up. And um, fortunately we have kind of a, a dummy account that we can use for this to show you guys exactly how to do it. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I would love to know how many of you are currently using your KV Core platform in any way in your business. It's capturing leads. You got it turned on at least. I see Rick's hand went up. Hey, welcome Rick. It's good to see you, man. Um, I see Jordan. Um, all right. I know a few of you are. Emily Stagg says yes. Steve says yes. So we've got people who are using the platform. Um, Kiki Toti would like to be not using it yet. Okay. The very, very first thing that you actually have to do at eXp in order to get your e, uh, your KV Core site. So some of what we're doing today, you may not be able to do if you haven't done this, don't worry, we're recording this, you'll be able to do it all later, is you have to go to eXp Enterprise, um, eXpEnterprise.com. And there's an area on the left-hand side of that page. In fact, let me pull this up. I wasn't planning to do this as part of my screen share, um, but it'd be really valid for you guys to see this. What's interesting is if you log into your enterprise here on the left-hand side, it says optional services, and then here is KV Core. You're gonna click a button over here on the right-hand side to request your KV Core site. Um, EXP provides one for everybody, but we don't automatically pay for one because that's a loss leader. If somebody's not gonna use it, they won't request it, that's totally fine. Um, but then we don't turn it on because it costs the company money. So they'll go ahead and save that money, no problem. Um, so if you want your KV Core site on, you have to request it. Come in here, click optional services over here on the left, right, right there, optional services. Once you've clicked that, then you'll come over here on the right. You can see I've requested mine. I had I changed states, so I requested my new one in my new state. Um, so all of that works really nicely. You'll go ahead and do that. They say it takes seven to 10 business days. If you need it faster, go inside the tech office, let them know what you need. They're really helpful. Um, so their goal is to get you up and running as fast as possible, not to delay your business. Um, but you do wanna do that. So if you haven't done that yet, again, head over to expenterprise.com and get that turned on. And it's under optional services, optional services. I put the EXP Enterprise link there in the uh, chat thread if you need it. That's step one. If you haven't done that, you're kind of still at the starting line, which is not a problem. Remember again, we are recording everything that we're doing today. Um, and so that's gonna be a really important part of this. Um, but more important than that is, let me get logged in here to KV Core. Now we're gonna walk you through all the essential parts of the KV Core environment. And if you're just getting started with KV Core, don't feel any shame. In fact, we're gonna have you making this thing purr like a kitten by the end of today. So that'll be great. Here is the platform. Are you guys seeing my screen? Somebody nod for me so I can see it. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you guys. Um, so this is the very first thing that you're going to see when you log in. Um, there's a bunch of buttons. There's all sorts of stuff. It's probably overwhelming if it's your first time inside the platform. Don't worry. Take a deep breath, right? Ooh, okay. It's not a big deal. We're going to walk through everything. There are two basic areas that you need to understand that have information in them that is going to affect how you um, operate within the platform. Let me get my, there we go. I got to get that out of the way. All right. First and well, three things. One is up here in the top right. What you can see is there's your, and I'm under Lexi's platform here. There's your drop down. You've got a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go through that in a minute and there's your quick actions. This one's under your name. This one's under the word quick actions. These are at the top. We're gonna to talk about what they do and what, what all's in it. Over here on the left is your full menu, all right? 
dashboard, playbook, smart CRM, listings, marketing, lead engine, transactions, web and IDX, marketplace, business analytics, and support and training. We're going to go through all of those today so that you have a really comprehensive understanding of what's what inside the platform, where's everything hiding, and what can I do? Because a lot of times we have questions about what can we do, where are things hiding? And by the way, I have a, a request today that, um, yeah, Steve says the more you use it, the easier it gets. I'm going to try to watch the chat to the very best of my ability. In fact, let me put that on my external monitor. If for some reason I miss something, feel free to just unmute, holler at me. Be like, hey, Jeff, you're missing stuff. Um, and then we'll we'll slow down and hopefully capture what we need to capture. In fact, let me put this over there as well. Oh, look, now I can see everything. Awesome. This is rad. Haven't done this with two monitors in a little while. All right. So back on the main platform. So when you come into your dashboard, what you'll notice, and by the way, you can affect what's on the dashboard, but I would leave it alone. Today's objectives, it tells you some things that it thinks you should do. Playbooks, we'll talk about what those are, and KV core trainings. I'm actually going to start you at the bottom of this left-hand list under what's called support and training, because you're going to be amazed at what KV core actually gives you. So everyone can see this, support and training. Let me go ahead and link link to this. And what I would advise you is if you want to go ahead and, and track along with your own platform because you're a like a scratch and sniff type of a learner, that is awesome. But I will also say sometimes watching is the very best way because while you're looking down, I'll say, oh, and here is where that thing is. And you'll be like, wait, what thing? Ah, and then you'll try to backtrack. So I would say maybe just watch and that'll be helpful for today. Under support and training, you'll notice that there's this first link called support docs. I'm going to click that for you so you can see where that takes us. It takes us directly over here to the KV Core comprehensive. And by the way, it says inside real estate, that's their parent company. Um, all of the various things that you might need inside the platform. Look at this. They give you so many things about teams, their back office, listing machine, core social, marketplace add-ons, the actual platform itself, everything located inside here. It's really helpful. And I would dig through some of that if you have the time. But what I want to really get you clued into here is where it says courses. So I'm going to click that. Now check this out. The very first thing here where it says agent quick start, hopefully you can see that agent quick start. This is a basic overview with setup steps and tips that will help you find success with KV Core Fast. If you've not gone through the agent quick start inside KV Core, I have to recommend it. It is outstanding. It is correct. Um, most top producers at the company highly endorse this agent quick start as the correct way to get your business set up. This is awesome. This is a great course. So you're going to want to go in here. You just hit launch and it'll get you started right. Um, after that, if you want to go through a much more comprehensive, then you could go into this agent success plan, which takes a full month to knock out. But that's pretty awesome. And what you can see, look at all of these great ways to get started. If you're running a team, what about an admin quick start um, to, to have your admin go through to get you all set up the right way? Really, really cool little items in here. And if you didn't know about these, these are all designed to make you successful and they're fully integrated with your platform. So everything clicks out and takes you right where you need to go inside your KV Core platform so you can get started the right way, right away. Um, if you want things about, uh, let's see, just courses for agents, I could click up here and it will drill down for me and it will eliminate some of the other items that maybe don't have to do with just being an agent. So what you'll notice is that dropped me down to the six relevant courses, um, admins or team leaders, and I could look at those. So again, this allows me to drill down. Sometimes I like to just view all so I can see everything that's available and see if maybe there's something that would be interesting to me. The reason I like to point this out though, is many times this agent quick start gets avoided and I just have to endorse one more time, do the agent quick start, um, go ahead. And also when you're bringing people to the company, encourage them to do this right away. This is a great way to get started. The second support mechanism that I'll show you, they've got webinar schedules, their YouTube channel and their Facebook group. By the way, the Facebook group is super dynamic and engaged. So if you have questions, it's a great place to go. Now, Everyone knows that AI is taking over the world and probably eventually replacing all of us. It's terrifying. All right, moving on. <laughs> so why do we need to know about this little doodle daddle down here in the side? Well, because this little chat icon is 
AI assisted and can help you with about a gajillion different things inside the platform. So sometimes you might have questions. I made a promise in advertising this webinar today that I would show you how to get things done in your website without having to do them yourself. If you have, let's say a Google AdWords tracking pixel or a Facebook tracking pixel, I can actually come in here. I can um, ask a question. Watch how quick this is. It's going to think I'm Lexi, which is great. Um, hi, I'm a bot and I respond to shorter questions. Um, I need to post uh, my Facebook uh, pixel on uh, every website page. Now, I think we're, we've already done this. Um, can you help? All right. Now, what's interesting is it'll say how to do it. And then I can just say, can you do it for me? And it will actually do it for me. Watch this. Um, can you just do it for me. Do, 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 do. And look at that. Now, what it's gonna do is if I click talk to a person, it would they would just say, oh yeah, no problem, go ahead and post it here. They will then go ahead and take your pixel, put it where it's correct and get that on every single page of your website. Remember your website has thousands and thousands and thousands of page. So if you're retargeting as a part of your business, this is an unbelievably valuable way for you to build that. I know that's a little bit of an advanced concept. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. There's about a million other things you could do in here. And this is just a great place to ask generic questions. Just don't forget it's here. Because a lot of times we default to asking a human. This is, this is actually powered by humans and all they do is help people with KV core questions all day long. So again, support and training in the lower left and asking questions right here. You can ask real people in real time. Pretty stinking awesome. All right. So we started with that. Head back to the dashboard here. Quick actions is at the top. We're going to go through each of these. This is how you would manually add a contact. Um, add a call, add a note, add a task, blog posts, and emails. You can see these. I would encourage you to noodle around with them. We will walk through the ones you definitely need to know today. But the very first thing, let's say that this is your first time logging into KV Core. Let's start at step number one. And we're going to come up here and we're going to go down to my profile. All right, my profile, click. And what you will see is your actual profile information about me, signatures, credentials, background, education, experience, achievement, community involvement. Holy moly, they wanna know everything. You don't have to fill it all in. Can it help? Sure, maybe a little, probably not a ton. Remember that KV Core is designed to capture lead information and help to gestate internet leads until the point when they are ready to talk to you. However, you do want to edit your profile. So if you haven't done that yet, come in here. You're going to want to put in your first name, last name, whatever title you want, realtor, agent, real estate agent, whatever makes you happy. That's great. Make sure that you go ahead and click here to upload your headshot photo. And you're going to want that as a square format. I think they let you trim it. That's not a problem. Get your agent MLS ID into the website. Here's why. KV Core is linked with your MLS using what's called an RETS and an IDX feed. And that feed automatically searches for all of your new listings as they are created. And then it's going to do a bunch of stuff for you if your agent MLS ID is here, because it'll say, oh, hey, cool. Rick just took another listing. I better go ahead and create those 10 pieces of marketing that Rick has told me to create every time he takes a listing. This is a real thing that it does, and we're going to show you how to do that. So you have a whole listing pack every single time you take a listing just created for you. In fact, you can tell it to go ahead and post those on your business page and all sorts of cool stuff. It's really awesome. Uh, yep, we're good. There we go. Um, get your nerds ID and your vendor ID. Um, great. You're going to want to go ahead and put your phone number. Um, if you have a Facebook page, you're going to want to put that, your LinkedIn, uh, whatever makes sense for you. Um, again, these are not required. License number is required. Get that in there. Um, you, If you have uh, something other than your business email that you would like your email to quote unquote come from, you will need to identify what that is under your from email. So Lexi wanted her emails here to be coming from Lexi at experiencehometeam.com. That's great. So now it will mask the sender ID and it will appear to the user as those that came from Lexi at Experience Home T Team. And it will say Lexi Sanchez as the from name on the email. Um, 
Yes, Joanne, I see that your hand is up. How can I help you? Fine, thanks. Um, okay. I was there for about three years before, you know, saying or thinking, they don't really send you marketing materials when you get a listing. I've never got an email with the marketing materials and finally found, figured out, and I think you're the one that helped me with this, is that on my profile, I had my EXP email, but on my RMLS profile, I had my personal email. So EXP didn't know, even though my RMLS um, ID was linked and stuff, it wasn't picking up emailing me the materials until I put my personal email in KB4 to match my MLS profile email. Got it. Yeah, that's awesome to know. And hopefully everybody took note of that. Um, thank you, Joanne. Uh, Joanne Graham, everybody uh, with the G team out in Roseburg, Oregon. Um, awesome team leader. Really appreciate you being here. So um, what Joanne was just saying there is a really great point. Many times these systems will use your email address as your unique identifier. And so make sure that you're using the same unique identifier across every platform so that the systems can find you. Remember, automations are smart, but they're not that smart. And so, you know, if you're using 50 different email addresses across 50 different platforms, it's going to be hard for them to cross integrate and synergize together for you. So pick an email, use it everywhere. Um, great, great, great. You're going to want to fill this stuff out. By the way, do not forget to come scroll back up and hit save when you're done. I've done this wrong about 150 million times where I then click the next place I want to go and forget to save. Whoopsie doo, I got to do it again. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and create a little about me. That's great. You're going to want to create an email signature. By the way, this is a great place. If you have like a required, um, some states have a requirement that on your first communication with any prospective buyer that you provide for them like a, uh, a PDF of your buyer guide from your state. It's a legal requirement. I think that's true in Arizona. So you could just put a link out to that PDF down here in your email signature and then flip on the include signature on all outgoing email. And hey, bada bing, you're now fully compliant for everything that goes out from a marketing stance for your your business. That's an awesome thing to do. I would recommend it. You can change your password in here. Um, and let's see, anything else that you really need to know? Not just yet. So if you're having problems with your integrations, however, you can come in here and try to fix it yourself. If you're having problems, first stop would be this little chat icon in the lower right. And then if that doesn't work, go to the technology services office inside of EXP World. They can even take over your computer, help you with all of this. They're very helpful and very intelligent in that office. So if you haven't been over there, those guys are awesome and they always love helping us to succeed at a high level. So I really recommend it. But this would be your first stop because you want to make sure that like your name is presented correctly, that you know all of your marketing kind of comes across with the stuff in it that you want in it. If you like, if you've got a catchphrase or a slogan or a logo that you want in all of your signature stuff, that's great. Now, remember, not every email, if you're using like Gmail, that you send from your Gmail doesn't automatically then go through KV Core. So you would need that signature to be the same as this signature, et cetera. These are just the emails sent out from the platform, but that's going to send a lot of emails. So you're going to want to be ready for this. Okay. That's thing number one. We're going to come back to playbooks. I'm going to click on it for you. That's over here on the left. But what you'll notice is it says promote a listing or gather your sphere. These playbooks are designed to help you to do the things you know you need to do. Which by the way, if you haven't gathered up your sphere or worked your sphere yet, I would recommend you go through these playbooks. These two should be right there on the front page of your KB Core when you go into the playbooks area here on the left. Um, and what I would recommend is you just go step by step, very meticulous through these. Um, and do it for time. I was talking with a good buddy of mine the other day and I said, whenever you're trying to get something done, just go fast, man. Don't try and do everything right the first time. Just get it done. Time yourself, see how quickly you can go. That's going to get you really productive and it will help you to be a top producer really quickly. Trust me, there are people just getting a lot done and that's going to be um, the best use of your time. You can always come back and fix things later. This is called your smart CRM, but if you're just logging in, you're not going to have people in here yet or leads or sample leads or any of that kind of stuff. But um, these leads, some of them are, are just old leads, whatever, but we can show you how to work this. You can adjust here how many different rows 
you're able to see in the platform. You can also sort by the variety of different columns that you have that you can provide. You can mass email everybody, mass text everybody. You can send video messages to people that you select or select all. So this is very useful to be able to use. And frankly, you can also just click one person and scroll through, do operations. We're gonna show you how to work that part of your business in just a little bit. But before we get there, I wanna help you set up your website. I wanna go through each of these um, little side links here. Listings is where your current listings, um, property listings right now will be everything listed by your brokerage, that's eXp Realty. Hopefully, um, if it's not, welcome to the big show. Let's get your butt over here. This is the way to do. Um, so, um, but also you can manually upload listings or have your own listings right now. Um, None in that department, but we can show you exactly how to utilize that. So that's under listings, my listings, company listings, and manual listings. Marketing. If you hey, just click the market, yes. See, can I make a quick comment? Please. So here's something I've a practice that I've started is um, when you go through there and you can see and sort by all of the company listings, if you're struggling and you don't have a listing and you want something to keep content flowing on your Facebook page or LinkedIn or whatever, I go out here, grab the link and promote another EXP listing and always write in the description, giving them credit. And they're not going to balk at that. They love it. And it keeps you in a flow going where you've got constant uh, activity in front of people. That's awesome, Steve. And, you know, depending on what state you're in, there might be a restriction on having to get kind of written permission from the other agent, even right. though they're with EXP. But I will say this, most agents are pretty apt to, to go ahead and give that permission because they want to get their property moving. Um, and if they say no, just go to the next one. So you could always go grab a, a listing. If you're trying to drive into the luxury price band, by the way, pick a luxury listing. Uh, I know that that sounds crazy, but alignment matters. And so start doing that. Or at the very uh, bare minimum, maybe create an additional business page on you know, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your primary uh, zone of kind of targeting for audiences is, and make that your luxury brand and start doing all of your luxury posts there and all of your standard posts for your business and your own listings in another place so you can build both businesses at the same time. Very cool idea. I have a friend who's doing that and she's having big success. Okay, so this is really awesome. I appreciate that, Steve. Thanks for chiming that in for folks. Down here under marketing, and I, I just want you to see where things are. A lot of times there's this nervousness that if I come in here and I click the wrong button, I'm going to screw everything up. I will tell you guys this, you could click every button 15 different ways from Sunday in here. You will not screw anything up so badly that it can't be fixed. So don't worry. You can always come in and fix things. Under marketing tools and features. So I clicked on marketing on the left. That brings me here. And what you can see is that the company, um, meaning KV Core, has given us so many different types of things. Core Present, this is awesome. You should go in and read about each one of these. I don't have time within a, a 90 minute call to break down every single one of these. Voicemail drop, you can tell what that is. Core Concierge, this is real people following up your, with your leads, kind of like the concierge program that you're seeing with Zillow and other providers. Somebody actually talking to the leads before they pass them off to you. All of these um, are add-ons, so many of them do cost money. So, you know, weigh out your budget. What I always advise people is have that money in a bank account before you spend it. Don't spend, don't deficit spend, right? That's crazy. Um, it's like credit card spending. Don't do it. So smart campaigns. These are awesome. Search alerts, scheduled mass emails. This is very cool. You can do that without spending money. So a lot of this stuff is really awesome. You're going to want to know about it. Even a CMA builder, some of this you're going to want to use. Some of it you're going to be like, oh, my thing over on XYZ platform is better. Good but you won't know until you come in and check this one out. So some people prefer to build their CMAs directly on the MLS or just to do a seller net sheet or to use RPR or to use KV Core. I don't care. They, they do make pretty stuff in here though. So if that's important to you, then you have access to it. That's really, really great. But I wanted you to know about this. Also a big one that I think people forget about is birthdays and anniversaries. And so if you want people to get an email from you on their house anniversary or on their birthday um, or on their wedding anniversary or their whatever, there's all sorts of stuff that you can automate emails and text messages all from your smart number. Now, I'm gonna stop my screen share for a second. And I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show my face for this one because I don't want anyone caught off guard later. A quick note on how a smart number works. 
So a smart number is a telephone number that is dynamically connected to your website. And here's what a smart number does, guys, because it's a really big deal and you got to know how it works. A smart number is designed so that you can text from it and they can call back. The smart number is assigned right now when you get your free smart number to, let's say, 200, 500 agents in your area, something like that. And so when if somebody were to just call that number and they're not in someone's CRM, they would just get round robin between any agent that's on that, all of these EXP agents. But if it's assigned to 500 agents and somebody, excuse me, calls that smart number, how would the system know that that's your friend, Carol? It wouldn't know unless Carol is in your CRM with her phone number. It won't know that Carol is your friend. And so this is assigned to you. So do not just take a smart number and put that on all your signs or what you're doing is you're really advertising for all of the other agents, which listen, it's great to have a big heart, but don't give away all your business. That's crazy. Um, so there's two options. One, use the smart number strategically. That's fine. Or two, you can actually purchase an upgrade. And I would say if you're going to be like a big time smart number user, this is one monthly cost that I do recommend for people. Get your own smart number. If you're going to use the smart number, if you're not going to use it, by the way, that's great. And you don't need to, you don't have to, to run a great business, but if you are going to use it, then I would, and you're going to use it aggressively, get your own. Here's why. Let's say that a friend of Steve's is in his CRM and he's using the smart number to text out. Now that friend says, man, Steve is just keeping in such great touch with me. I should give his number to my friend, but they don't know the difference. So they give the smart number to their friend. Their friend is not in Steve's database. What happens when their friend goes to call Steve and says, I need to list my house today? It gets round robin and some other agent picks up with the XP. That's great, but it's not Steve's business now. And I'm guessing Steve would like to have that business. Am I right, Steve? Yes. He's like, yeah, huh? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we want to make sure that that ends up in your hands. So in that instance, you would need to be the owner of the smart number so that all those leads come to you. By the way, if any of you are building or running a team, you absolutely must own your own smart number. That's going to allow you to round robin leads inside your team and do a bunch of other things that are very cool. All right. That's my quick note on smart numbers. I just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. Um, 27 bucks a month, Emily Stagg said, and it is great. I agree with you, Emily. It's a, it's a very great add on. Um, and 27 a month is what about 300 bucks a year. Trust me, that's worth it for saving your business and making sure that your business isn't getting round robin be between you and other agents, right? You're, you don't want one 300th of your business. You want all of it. Um, all right, good. Behavioral automation. This is the one that agents get worried about. What do you mean it's going to contact all of my, huh? When you just turn on KV Core right out of the box, it will communicate with new leads, people who register as new leads, not sphere of influence that you bring in, not past clients. It will automate with your new leads. I'm going to click get started and I'm going to show you what's in here. Now I've changed some of these settings, but these are your behavioral alerts. Read this stuff, but you can turn off where it will automate with people. So if you don't want it to do any of this with anyone, turn off all of these. Um, I like this stuff because what this means is that when people enter the system, the system will start communicating with them and warming them up. Down here, you can see different types of behaviors. These are what are called behavioral triggers. This means if somebody has been gone off the website for over 14 days, they come back, it will now do what? It will send the agent an alert. Hey, this person just came back. If they've been away for over 14 days, you should check them out. You want to see what that looks like? I can preview it. Restart your home search. It also, by the way, reaches out to the lead. Very cool stuff. All right. Can we edit it? Yes, right here. Does it email? Yes, right there. So it sends email, sends text. It also sends an alert to the agent. If they visit the site five times in the last week, if they view a property five times in the last day, again, can you edit these? Yes. Should you? Well, I don't know. Maybe if you want to, that's up to you, right? But some people have like catchphrases, you know, like Jordan, you're super awesome realtor guy. That's awesome. I don't care what you're using. If you want that brand continuity, you got to go in and edit it. If you don't care, you're like, you know what? I just want to get the lead. Then I'll worry about branding when they're a past client. That's great too. Don't care how you run your business, but you need to be aware of these different features. Um, if the lead viewed 10 properties in the last week, if they viewed the same property three times, or if they favorited a property, 
It's very cool. Think about it. So they go and they view five properties in the last 24 hours and it sends them a text message. Hi, Bob. Thanks for continuing to search on our site. Just let me know if I can help anyway. Um, Jeff, my number, my website. Bada bing, bada boom. How cool is that? I'm guessing that you're not currently text messaging somebody every time they look at a house on your website. That's pretty awesome. And trust me, this helps things to convert. Um, at a bare minimum, you will get some unsubscribes. And that's also helpful because if you're doing internet lead generation, and I'm going to be really clear on this, internet lead generation means you're going to get a lot of subscriptions of people who just want to look at houses. Not all those people are ready. You want artificial intelligence and this engine chewing on your business so it can spit out ready to go buyers and sellers. So you're not having to call 64,000 people a day to go, hey, I saw that you were shopping on my site and then have them get upset. All right. That's not going to help you at all. All right. So this is really good stuff. Back to marketing. So we wanted you to see all these tools. You can go under smart campaigns. Now I'm going to give you a quick hack under this one. And this is something that you must do. So this is, you know, if I could do flashing red, I'll probably do that in the, in the post play here. This is a must do. All right. Here's the must do. You're going to want to sit, click add campaign. That's here in the top right where it says add campaign. Click that. And then what you're going to do is when lead is new, select the source, doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter the source. Whoops. When lead is new, um, always run. Yes, yes, yes. Um, add trigger. I don't need this. Uh, lead logic is new. Nope. I want to delete that. All right, good. So next, I haven't done this in a minute. Whoops. I do need that trigger. Okay. Select a field. Fine. Form submission. Okay. So, oh, great. So you can decide where this is coming from, guys. Um, which is really, really awesome. But when this lead is new, we want them to enter our ecosystem. And then what? They're going to come in here. Campaign is designed for buyers. Watch this. Next, campaign name. What am I doing wrong? We'll delete this out. Don't worry, guys. Holy moly, there we go. That's what I did wrong. All right, so delete. Flashing new, here we go. Keepy Core Library, sorry guys. Up here at the top. You guys can laugh at me later. All right, this is where this is located. You're gonna want to type in the word default. There we go. They change where some of these things are located every once in a while. And you're gonna wanna call, find what's called the KV Core um, Buyer Default Campaign. Now it's not in here at the moment because I've already imported it over. It looks like this, Conversion Default Buyer. Conversion Default Buyer. You're gonna wanna grab that one. Conversion Default Buyer, it has eight hits on it. What does that mean? Touches. It means it's going to reach out to that person eight times. You can edit it. That's fine. You can make all sorts of changes. You can do all sorts of stuff. I'm just showing you at a bare minimum, bring this in and set it up to start when someone's status is a new lead buyer. Okay. Buyers that are new leads in your system will automatically start to receive this campaign. What's in this campaign, Jeff? Well, let's check it out. On day one, they get a text or an SMS. Well, what's in that text or SMS? Let's check it out. It says, I wanted to ask the other day, after you visited our real estate website, are you actively shopping for a specific type of property or looking for something particular? Can you edit it? Yes. Should you? I Sure, if you want. It doesn't matter to me. But you do want a text message going out on day one. I wouldn't make this 6 million pages long because people won't read it and they're more likely to unsubscribe. I will tell you, this was written by a person who has a degree in marketing and knows what they're doing, and they've also tested this on about 600 trillion agent websites. So feel free to change it, so long as you have more experience than that person. I've never changed it, worked really well for us. We were doing over 150 units a year using just these. Never edited one single one of their messages, by the way, because I didn't care. Who cares? Why do you care? Uh, maybe you do. All right. Then it's going to say, do you own a home locally? Why? We're trying to find out if the buyer is also a seller. Quick property tour. We're trying to get contact. Day eight, then we send them another text message. Day 21, another text message. Day 25, another email. Day 50, another email. Day 100, look at that. We're going way out in the distance. Over three months later. Why? Because we want to stay front of mind with this person. Um, you can even 
uh, tell this to trigger other campaigns after this campaign fi finishes running. But at a bare minimum, I wanted you to know about this one. And then the other one that you're gonna search for is conversion default seller. Conversion default seller. It's a legacy campaign. I love these, by the way. You can choose different ones. I'm giving you some basics and these are things I believe in. This is seven touches and this is, you're gonna want this to only go when the status is new lead and it's designed for sellers. All right, what goes out, Jeff? I wanna know what goes out. If somebody requests this, there's a CMA email. There's a, are you selling a refi? There's a property value has increased email, bidding wars, did you list your house, half year check-in, and did you just list your house? 365 days later, how many of you can say confidently that every single person who had a listing inquiry with you a year ago is still hearing from you today? If you can't, Activate this campaign. Can you add actions? Jeff, I want it to go out six years from now. Sure, sounds good. Add an email. Look at this. I could click email and add another one to go out at whatever 365 times two is. You could have one every six months for the rest of their life. It doesn't matter. Can you add other things? Yes, I could add tasks and reminders. I could add a call to remind me to call them. I could add tags once they get to a certain position. Um, I could, all sorts of things. I can use Zapier to do crazy advanced automations and send them over to MailChimp so that they get an email from me off of MailChimp forever. Now they're in my permanent mailing list. I could use Zapier to put them in a database spreadsheet. So I just have one catch-all spreadsheet for every single lead I've ever created, right? So it's got 6 million items on it. Whatever you want, you can do it all straight from here. And campaign actions is a great way to do that. I wanted you to know about these two campaigns. What you'll notice is those are the only two I've turned on. I know people who have 600 campaigns. That's awesome. By the way, they do have a new default, new lead buyer. I've looked at it. It has 43 touches instead of eight. Um, since I haven't used it, I'm not currently endorsing it, but go check it out because my guess is it's also darn good and that's great. So go use that if you want to, but you're gonna wanna get at a bare minimum, one buyer and one seller campaign up and running. I'm endorsing the old conversion ones because I think they're awesome and I've used them for huge success. Um, plus every other agent isn't using them like they are with the new ones. Um, but if you wanna get up to 43 touches in one year, that's great, don't care. Um, I'm gonna show you some other things that I think will also offset and help you with that. Um, last thing on here, if you are using this core listing machine, this is pretty awesome. This is a new um, element. You can come in here, by the way, it will walk you through how to do this, creating marketing assets, et cetera, for all of your listings. But at a bare minimum, what you'll notice if you're already with eXp is that this marketing listing kit is already turned on. And here's what happens. Every single time you take a listing and your MLS is connected, right now it's gonna go ahead and create eight design elements for you. What are they, Jeff? Well, if you click edit, it's gonna tell you it creates a video, a website, a traditional clean flyer, a clean square, a clean story for your social media, clean flyers that you can print out, mailers that you can print out, and a, a big drop-down door hanger that you can print out. It auto-creates these using all of your listing data so it's ready to go. Does it send them to anyone? Nope, but can you go grab them? Yep. So Lexi had a listing, uh, what, uh, two months ago that she went live with. I just want you to see this. She's already sold it, um, but this will still be available. If I click view assets, this just shows up on your dashboard. She just took the listing. She didn't have to do anything for it to create this. View assets. I'm just inside KV Core and check it out. Um, all of her stuff for that listing is right here. Did she have to go and do work to create these? Nope. It's all just right here easy to use. Can I share via a text message right now or an email? Download it. I can put it on my social media. I can do all sorts of cool stuff. If you don't know how to do this kind of graphic creation, you don't need to anymore. Um, EXP is already cross-integrated and is paying for this so that it'll automatically be created for you. I just want you to see one other. Here's a story. So if you wanted to go put this on your Instagram, bada bing, bada boom. You can see these are editable fields. Um, so you could, if you didn't want to give away the price, you could say, um, you know, like uh, click or DM for price, you know, that kind of a thing, and then go ahead and render it there, but share on social media, boom, or download it so I can cross post it as myself. I can change up the logos. I can add my secondary logo, whatever it is you would like to do. I wanted you to know about these because a lot of times this stuff stays buried and people aren't quite aware of it. It's very, very cool and takes no time to use. Okay. Um, so that's under core listing machine. 
Design Center. I know we're going quickly. We may chop these out, but trust me, every single piece of this is very helpful. Your design center is where it looked looked like we were just a moment ago. So flyers, a lot of times I'll talk to agents. Well, man, I sure would love to call all my past clients, but I'm going to spend the next six years designing a flyer. Well, stop doing that. Call your past clients. They want to hear from you so you can actually get a listing or work with a buyer, but let KV Core design your flyer for you. Um, so check it out. What if I, I have some great achievements from last quarter and I'd like to brag about them? Awesome. Let's go ahead and use this little braggable branding item so I can create my flyer. And here it goes. Boom. The flyer's already been pre-designed. Wait, who's she? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Swap image. And I can go ahead and put my own image in there. Now, put your own information. It's got most of it. Accolades or awards. Hey, we sold this house for this much over market. Hey, we helped this investor buy a triplex. Wouldn't that be nice for you? Hey, we did this. We sold 25 houses. We did this, whatever. So you can put your accolades and awards. If you're thinking of buying or selling, blah, blah, blah. It's already got all of your information pre-populated because it's all built into your contact information that you edited today. And then you click download. How hard is that? Not hard at all. Um, very, very cool from downloading. Then you can go hit print and just print or send it over to Staples or whatever your printer is that you're using. Um, there's even a way to do it, um, but uh, you have to save the design first and then you can print with Express Docs and it'll be delivered to your front door. Um, if that isn't easy enough, I don't know what's easy enough. Um, so look at all these great flyers. There's tons more. You can come in here. They got so many templates, guys. It's absolutely unreal. So just come in here, noodle around social media posts. Well, gosh, I've got to spend all this time designing my... No, you don't. Come in here. Let this design your social media for you. Go fast. Remember, fast is better. Get something done fast, post it. Get something done fast, send it, right? Instead of making everything perfect, do more things. Trust me, that's going to get you more business. The person down the hall from you who sends out 100 mailers uh, per year will get more business than the person who sends out one perfect mailer or worse, even zero perfect mailers, right? Because they spent all their time trying to make sure everything was going to be perfect and never did anything. You've got videos. I don't know how to do videos. That's all right. Click on here. Guess what? It's going to do videos for you. It even brings you over here. It's going to walk you through it. This is a bit more advanced, but look, we can even select music to put behind. You can do a voiceover. You can upload recordings. You can even record it in here. You can generate the video, download it, and then even cross post it onto your social media. It's very, very cool and easy to use. And also single property websites. What if you want a landing page just for that new listing you took? You make that promise. Okay, great. No problem. We'll come over here. What would it look like, Jeff? Well, let's pick a, a listing. I'm just picking a random listing here. Awesome. And this is what this website will start looking like. Man, oh man, that's nice. So this would be a landing page. They would click view gallery, it would take them over, and then it's going to urge them to what? Subscribe to your website so you get their contact information. Ultimately, that's what you want. So you can click view website and then share the link. That's easy to use, right? Gotta love easy to use, guys. This is the main thing that we're trying to accomplish is to make sure that everything that we're doing is easy and fast. You could now start promising this every time you talk to a prospective listing. Listen, I even make a private custom website just for your listing. Um, we know how much that matters and, and uh, really creating custom elements just for you that we can cross promote them uh, across a, a variety of different social platforms. People, wow, that's incredible, all right? Because why? Because my, my marketing team's doing that. Who's your marketing team? Oh, the people over at KV Core. It's awesome. There's your marketing team. Okay, they're doing work for you in the back end. Most of this is powered by AI, um, which is smarter than I uh, am. So that's good. And then Core Present, what is that? Some people are using this. I've never used it, but I will show it to you. Core Present is listing presentations that are built out by KV Core and buyer presentations that are built out by KV Core. Can you customize all this? Yep, you'll have to fix your About Me section first. That's up here in the right. And then you can see the different presentations. They have like a modern one, a luxury one, et cetera. You can build different presentations and then you can even send them digitally to your clients. This is a very great way to do this if you like using these types of presentations. Different strokes for different folks. Some agents do not like listing and buyer presentations. I don't particularly use them myself, but if you're the type of person who uses them, this might be a great way to jumpstart your business up into the digital um, kind of realm. And all of the links are going to automatically backfill and integrate directly with your CRM. So every lead that you get comes straight 
into your system. So you never miss a piece of business ever again. That's a really great thing. All right. Wanted you to know about all those. All your designs get saved forever in here. So that's everything under marketing. Whew. All right. I need a drink. Water is what I mean. Also that. Here we go. I'm going fast, guys. All right. Joanne always texts me afterwards. She's like, what kind of, how much coffee did you have today? Jeez, Louise. All right. Um, so your lead engine. Now this one's important. I'm going to turn off my screen share and I'm going to tell you guys this. KV Core, its main, main, main function is to capture new leads and make you aware of them and communicate with them so it can turn them into real pieces of business. Remember, a lead is not a client, right? A lead might just be a person who likes pretty houses and they like looking at them. They have no intention or ability to buy. They have a 12 as their credit score. They have a negative 6 million as their bank balance, right? They're never buying a house ever. It's going to take them 64 lifetimes to pay off all their debts. I just am telling you, some of your people are going to be that. Stop getting offended by that. That's not a bad lead. They may tell their friend who's a millionaire right down the hall, right? All about you because you've been communicating well or your system has. So don't worry about it. People who are not going to do business with you are still good for your database. You just have to know how to let your database do the work so you don't feel responsible for touching every single piece of data that's too much, right? I, like I, we, we have over 30,000 people in a database from where we do business. Guess what? I'm not calling all 30,000 or touching every single one. That's insane. That's insane, right? And I also talk to real estate agents. Well, I have a database with over a million points of data there. I'm not talking to all those people. That's crazy, right? So you have to understand how you're going yeah, to this. use the data and that will give you clarity. Did I hear somebody unmute uh, themselves? Nope, no questions? Okay. No worries. Um, so as you are, as you're building out, one thing that you're going to need to handle though, is how do I get new leads constantly coming into my database, whether you're working that for yourself or you're trying to populate leads to, for a team, maybe for instance, um, or a partner agent, that type of a situation. So let's talk about what's under the lead engine. This is, these are some really powerful tools inside your KV core platform. Excuse me, guys. All right. Number one, landing pages. What's a landing page? It's a web page, guys. Don't get fancy. Don't try to feel like it's anything crazy. It's just a discrete web page with a purpose. And the purpose will be to capture a lead, right? So we're going to show you exactly what the select a domain. You have to select your own domain. That'll be the only one that you have access to. Probably some of you, if you're dual licensed in multiple states, then you'll need to pick which state one you'll have like Lexi Sanchez or Lexi Sanchez one.exp realty. The, that's usually how the company sets those up. And you'll know which ones for which state if you're licensed in two states. Now I can click start building. That will bring me over to the landing page build function. Now you may not have known that this exists. Well, how could I ever create my own web page? Here's how. Very easy. What is it that you'd like? to do. Well, look up here in the top left, by the way, I want to show you this, the top left, it gives me all these drop down functions, lead generation, video view, video and lead, content hijack, text lead, address capture and Facebook chat. You don't need a degree in anything to be able to figure this out. Here's what I want you to do. We're on lead generation right now. It looks like this video view looks slightly different. It adds a video. Okay. Video plus lead. Looks a little bit different, adds the lead capture on the same page. I'm going to show you what all this, how to work all of this, all that in just a moment. Content hijack. Okay, what is content hijack? It might mean that there's some content that we're talking about here. They didn't really make this a great template for that, um, but we'll show you how to use it in a minute. Oh, look at this. Send this cool text code to this cool phone number, and then something cool will happen. And it will actually, this will work on someone's phone. It will actually SMS that number directly to this number from their phone. So that's very cool, especially if you own the smart number. It'll use your smart number. Um, address capture, right? This could be very cool. Like, what if I'm located in, um, uh, let's say, Seattle, right? Uh, your Seattle home may be worth a ton. Check this out. Find out how much 
today. And then I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. If I double click them, by the way, they go away. And then I could literally just create this website. That's a whole website right there. Now, what if I don't want that girl in the background because she doesn't look like a house? Maybe it'd be better if there was a house in the background. Okay, great. What about a kitchen? What about a farmhouse? Maybe that's where you are. Or what about a living room? Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at that modern living. I like that one. So I might use that. Okay. I want you guys to just know about these. They're really easy. I can change it to a lighter theme if I prefer kind of a lighter look. That's awesome. Whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to get rid of the logo, you can do that. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff. Just make sure you have whatever mandatory compliance verbiage. Um, you know, I might say from EXP Realty if I was getting rid of the logo, something like that. Okay. So all of this is super easy to use. Let me go over here. Last one, Facebook chat. Look at that. I can go ahead, chat with me now. I could just turn this into a landing page. Now, why am I showing you this? I'm going to reload um, this feature, start building. Okay. So I'm going to take you back to this one. Let's say that I've done your town and I just changed it to um, uh, Psalanti. All right. That's a real town. Um, oh man, I, I got to stop that. All right. Seattle. I'm going to misspell it every time. All right, I want to get rid of that. Seattle real estate, drastic price reductions, fixer uppers, free instant we re weekly deals and distressed properties. You might be thinking, wait, who's going to do all this? The system is automatically, so don't worry about it. Email, cell phone number is optional. See the list now. How cool is that? Do we want to use that? Absolutely, but I want a different background. Okay, so I changed the background. Uh, let's do it as, um, hmm, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's do it as new construction. That's kind of fun. All right, that's kind of neat because look at that. It's video in the background. I love that. Very slick. Now I got to tell the system, what type of a lead is this? Well, if a person wants a Seattle real estate deal, they're a buyer lead, okay? Awesome. So I've got buyer lead. I could require the phone number. You will get fewer lead regist registrations or more wrong phone numbers. Either one, that's fine. On your submit button, instead of see the list now, if you want it to say something else, you could say see uh, the awesome list you know, or whatever your verbiage is. Um, you could have it go to a specific URL after your login. Like for me, I would always have it go to my homepage or maybe a drilled down list for buyers or something. You can also drop a hashtag. Now, hashtags are how we label leads. I would encourage you to use one here. So this hashtag might be um, Seattle Real, oops, all one word, Seattle Real Estate Deals. Why would you use that? Well, because Seattle real estate deals. If somebody registers, now I can sort by everybody who went off of this landing page later. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. It just gives me a little warning. Hey, warning, you cannot go back and edit. Okay, no problem. So there's my website. This is a real website. If somebody were to type in their thing in their thing and hit this, guess what? It would create a lead in this system right now. Now, here's the coolest part that I want you to be aware of. Up here, this URL, HTTPS colon, Lexi said, blah, 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 all this stuff. That URL will bring people here every time. Let me show you. I'm going to open a new tab, click it, go. There it is again, right? Um, if I sent it out to people, it would do the exact same thing. Now, she's not licensed up in Seattle, so we're not sending this to anybody, so who cares? But I will tell you, look how easy that was to create a landing page. I know people who will spend their whole entire life creating a landing page and trying to figure out how to link it to their CRM when their CRM would do it for them and it's auto-linked. This is very cool, guys. So, and guess what? If you share this on social media, it will even give you an automatic, really slick looking um, backdrop. You look like a pro every single time. Don't spend all your time designing websites and flyers when your CRM is doing it for you like a pro, like a boss. You've already got an admin, right? Her name is KV Core. His name is KV Core. It's awesome. Um, and so I want you to go and use it and abuse it. It's an AI bot and it can do this all day long and twice on Sunday. Okay. That's really good stuff. Squeeze pages are just slightly different, not a lot different. It's still just a website. But in here, you're going to enter some information, potentially about a location, where your source is from, which hashtags you want. You're going to do all this first, and then it can give you a link out to a site. What I find that most agents use, back to the lead engine, is they're going to use landing pages 99% of the time. If you want to get slick on squeeze pages, we can do a whole nother training on that. But you don't even need them to run a great business. This landing page builder is so slick, guys. 
If you want a pitch sheet for like uh, for sale by owners and expireds, they have them in here. So I want you guys to know about this, right? It's going to give you all sorts of um, active, look at this. It will pull every active buyer in your office. By the way, this is every EXP agent. So it's going to tell you, it's going to tell your potential clients, oh, I've got 594,000 active buyer leads in our database. Our database does have that. And you're advertising your brokerage because you work at the behest of your principal broker. This is important for you to understand because this type of marketing is the power of large numbers. When people see this, they believe that you have the depth to be able to move their property or their interests forward in the market. This is really valid stuff. So come in here and check this out. Build a new manual listing or see your manual listings. I want you to just go in here, noodle around. Remember, you won't break it by touching it. So don't worry. All right, back to the lead engine. This one I want you to see, call and text capture. This is very cool. So if you're watching this on the replay or right now, go ahead and click get started under call and text capture. I'm going to show you how to use this. So very cool. Now you can see we have actually used this function quite a bit um, inside of ours um, because it's super successful at generating leads. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and this allows you to build out those custom text codes. Have you ever done one of those things where it says text, you know, um, sale 50, to one, two, three, four, five uh, to get the coupon delivered directly to your cell phone, right? How cool is that? Well, guess what? You can build those for your own business. What? Yeah, it's very slick. So like, let's just say for instance, that right now you have a listing and it's at one, two, three main. All right, so maybe my custom code would be one, two, three main. That's cool. Or it might be like, um, you know, cute farmhouse or farmhouse. I don't care. That's great. Something short, probably shorter than that. I'd keep it short. All right. And then what to send? We could send them the MLS ID. I don't like to do that because I want to start a what? Conversation. I'm a conversationalist, right? I, but why? Because I don't want to give them everything they want. What do I know that they want? If they're an inquiry and they're inquiring about a property, what do they want? The price. What am I going to make them wait for? The price. <laughs> why? Because I want a conversation. I'm trading. All right, I'm trading. So what do I do here? Hey, thanks for your interest in this cool property, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not gonna type all that right in front of you here. And then I might be, what um, would you like to know about that property, right? Wow, we've been getting so many inquiries about this property today. Thanks so much for reaching out. What more would, would we be able to sell you about or send you about that property? Listen to that. I just told them we've gotten so many interests. Now they're, they feel a little urgency. They saw this one. They're like, that one's the one. We love it. Now they think that everybody's in a bidding war on it. That's awesome. And so now they're going to operate with a little bit of urgency. You could put your signature here, you know, Lexi, your phone number, whatever. Okay. This is good stuff. Once you've done this, you could add a hashtag for what? The property, one, two, three, main. Awesome. Once I hit enter, every single lead that comes in off of this custom code to your smart number will actually get that hashtag on it. So now you could and select your smart number. There might be office ones, company ones, or if you bought your personal one, that would be the one that you'd want to use. Then you click add and it will show up like these. When somebody texts that code to, to whichever smart number you chose, it will work. You could do this for foreclosures, look at that, new homes, new homes, reduced, sell fast, save, right? So we created all these because we use them for that, for generating leads. It's very, very, very effective. And you don't need to pay a third party provider to go put that together for you or a lender, um, any of that. You can just go ahead and do it. Then you could just put those little riders right on your sign. If you are going to work your business using this kind of smart number technology, again, I would highly recommend that you own your own smart number with the company. That's a $27 a month upgrade. I know that for some people that's a bit of a lift, but just trust me, you'll get the one more deal a year that you need to pay for that. But um, that otherwise what, what's gonna happen is people are gonna call that number. And if they just call the number, it will get round robin if they're not yet in your system. So all those leads will just go to other agents. So I want you to be aware of it. I wanna keep saying it right here. Look at that, get your own personal smart number. It's right here. If you go to lead engine, right? And we're under call and text capture. Bada bing, bada boom. Get your own personal smart number, order now, and you can go ahead and do that if you want one. Okay, get more leads. Now, this is very, 
Very cool. The company has cross integrated with a bunch of ways to get leads. Again, each of these costs money. So you're not going to maybe be ready for all of them just yet, but um, they will literally take their marketing team and go do things for you. Some people say, oh, I really want my um, website to be located at my, uh, we call it a vanity domain. That means, uh, you know, like at uh, jeffrichman.com or jordanmead.com or joannegram.com, right? And so people want that. And so if you want that, this is where you would find that, right? Or you can also just ask in the chat if you forget where we are, but it's called a vanity domain. It's right here under lead engine, get more leads, right? Um, and that gives you the option to, to build that. Property boost would be for single properties that you have a listing on. Um, getting seller leads. That's awesome. Smart socials, nosy neighbor. That might be for every single time a listing is taken in your whole area, you mail to all of the neighbors around that listing. I used this for years. Very effective. It's really cute too. They have a little graphic, by the way, of this uh, this kid and they're on their tiptoes looking over the fence at the into the neighbor's backyard, right? And it just says, everyone wants to know what the neighbor's house is for sale for. And it goes out and it's like, go to this link. But when they go to that link, guess who owns that link? You do. It gets hard mailed. What do you mean hard mail? It means it goes into their actual physical mailing, like mailbox at their house on a postcard printed out. It's nice gloss. Looks good, guys. Um, voicemail drops, you can do that. We do have a bomb bomb integration. So again, come in and check each of these add-ons on. Um, I will tell you this. I'm gonna stop my screen share. If you are buying leads, Facebook leads cost more per lead, you will get more leads, which feels good to your heart, but might not be good for your bank account because sometimes those leads have lower intent, meaning they were just scrolling through the, they were like, oh, look, a dog video, look, a political rant, look, one of my friends got married, look, a house for sale, click. That doesn't mean they were like, I need a realtor, enter on Google very different kind of intent there. That person is like looking for help. How to sell your house in Cincinnati is a different person than dog picture, dog picture, dog picture house, right? That's a different person. We can understand that those are two different leads. It still comes into your system as a lead, but it's not the same intent. And so what I would say is you will pay more money. You will pay more money per lead if you get those leads off of Google ads um, but this platform, they will actually help you run these Google ads, um, or you can talk to, there's great coaches out there who are like experts on this. I can see Scott Gephardt on here. This is like his entire wheelhouse. I should bring him up on stage and have him talk about this stuff. But these guys, if you know nothing about anything, they will build this for you and get you predictable results that are within an appropriate margin. So you can still make money on your business and have a profit margin on these leads. And remember, you will pay some money for these leads, but then you don't pay money to keep them. That's the big thing. So if you're gonna work your past clients, guess what? Now the lifetime value of a lead is like immeasurable, right? Working that lead is where all the fortunes in real estate are made. Not getting the lead the one time. You get the lead the one time, you do a great deal with them, you're great at your paperwork and all that stuff, good for you, that's awesome. But then beyond that, now you keep in touch until that person dies and then you keep in touch with their whole family and you stalk everyone that they know. I'm telling you, this is where you build your business and it's why you need a CRM because you're not gonna remember all these people, right? Go ahead and hit me up in the chat if you have every single person you've ever done a deal with all in your CRM and all of them are on auto campaigns right now to hear from you at least 36 times a year, right? And this, <laughs> Joanne says no, <laughs> right? Most agents don't. And I would encourage you, by the way, if you don't, go do it. That's It's the most important thing you could do. Go do that, get that set up and get it activated and running right now. All right back in here. I want to show you a couple other things that are pretty neat. Um, if you want Word Plus plugins, oh my gosh. I mean, look at all this stuff. Handwritten postcards that you can set up in here. There's so many cool things. I've had so many people say, how do I synchronize this with my MailChimp? Really? Look at that. MailChimp or uh, integration, cross integration. All right. So synergize with everything. Your sky slope is already installed, your, your integration there. So if somebody becomes a lead and then they go to close a transaction, you can literally just click a button and it'll populate a sky slope file for them, right? Really cool stuff. Fully custom websites, like whatever you guys want. It's all in here. Okay. This is really good stuff. Next. Um, this is everything under lead engine. I'm going to skip transactions. You guys can come in here since 
We tend not to work our transactions in here. I tend to not teach it, okay? So feel free to work your transactions from wherever you currently work them. I would say once somebody is an active client, um, then you're going to want to get all of their transactional paperwork set up in Skyslope. You don't want to be working that somehow cross-integrated in KV Core, and then just set them up as a past client so that all, again, all of your lead generation behaviors, even with your past clients, are operating out of your CRM. All of your communication. Think of this as your communications hub. Okay, Web and IDX is what I clicked next. We've already gone into um, our profile, but this is where how do I edit this parts of my website? Well, look, we had website manager right here. So we can come in, we can edit different things. If I want to edit the template, I can change which template I'm on. Just click edit. So there's so many different things, guys, that I can come in and edit, which backgrounds are, are on my main site, um, all this kind of stuff. You think this stuff matters more than it really matters. I promise you it doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Nobody cares except you. Um, but I understand we're all vain and we want to look nice to the marketplace. Remember that most people will be driven to a landing page. Um, do not hide your office address probably in most states. Um, it gives you these options, but most of them are kind of no-nos. That's why they're giving you options. Um, I would read or, or uh, leave your normal prompt um, which is, uh, this means that it will require them to register after they've viewed one property. Um, do not mandate their phone number or you won't get anybody ever registering. Um, you can change the website title. You can change your meta description. This is how Google sees your site. So you can do all sorts of stuff. Um, on here, if you are tech savvy, this is where you put your Facebook pixel code. So check this out. If you're If you're dragging and dropping it yourself, boom, that goes under your custom footer. Um, your conversion code, this is for Google AdWords. Um, if you have a custom chat widget, like you're using Facebook Messenger directly on your site, there's a chat widget. You can download that from the business manager in Facebook and then put that over here. It's awesome. If you, if you just want to go ahead and use the username add-on and have them populate it, you just grab your Facebook ID and put it right here and click save. Easy, easy. Um, your compliance phone numbers will automatically be populated for you. Your contact email for CCPA, all that stuff will be auto-populated. So you don't have to worry about most of this stuff, guys. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things that I think you're going to want to change. Um, and I got to get to it really quickly. Great. Some people want to change their listing carousels. This is on your main page. These are your main three areas toward the top of your site. So maybe you want just listed, just reduced, and open houses, but they give you a lot of options. My listings, just listed, just reduced, open houses, or you can turn all three of them off and it'll tighten up your site, look a little bit more like a landing page. That's great too. It's up to you, but come in and noodle around with it. What I would recommend is to keep your live website. How do I see my live website? Click your name, click that website right there where it has the website link and it will open your live website for you. Every single one of you can see this. Your clients can't see the back end I was just on. This is what Lexi's, for instance, looks like. So on the back end here, if I made a change and instead of, look at this, instead of um, land list, oh, here we go, just listed, right? Whoops, I clicked it, sorry, crew. Just listed, just reduced, and open houses, right? This is what we're editing. Just listed, just reduced, and open houses. What if I turned one of them off, right? That just listed one, off, save. Now I go over here, I hit reload, go look at it. So that would have tightened it up and it got rid of that just listed, now just reduced, and open houses is all that's showing. So could I fix it? Of course, no problem, save, and I'm back, right? So you're always gonna have to hit reload to see your changes. Do they? How long does it take for them to go live? Usually about half of one second is about how long it takes for it to propagate your changes on this website. Something that you should know about your site. Let's say that you're doing a search. Um, I'm just gonna choose Phoenix, Arizona search. Something that's really, really handy for you to know, um, I want these to display high price to low price, um, more filters. I'm gonna do a maximum price up to 2 million and a minimum number of bedrooms is three. Okay, great. Single family homes. And what if I wanted something cool, whoops, something cool like, uh, whoops, just grabbed the wrong thing again here, guys. There we go. Um, what if the, I only wanted to do green or energy star advertised properties? Apply filters. Woohoo, look at all those, 252 results. Now, 
here's what's crazy. I could click save search, but what I can also do is this URL is this search. So anyone who opened this URL would come to this search. This is very cool to know. Just want you to know. If you want it to show as a list, do it as a list. Awesome. If you want it to show as a grid, show it as a grid. How cool is that? Now this search will show as a grid. So I could copy this and go create a Facebook ad that comes straight to this and saying, look at all of the new green and energy star rated listings in Phoenix that just went active. How cool are these? Save money and save the environment. Click here for more info. And then when they click, they'll come right here and see all these properties, right? So you could set the, the ceiling on whatever size you want. I'm showing you that. This is a really easy way to just build. That's a landing page. Holy moly. I just built a landing page in like 1.1 seconds. What if you wanted foreclosures? Yeah, you could do that one for foreclosures. What if you wanted, doesn't matter. You got all sorts of functions down here. So I just want you to see this. I could unclick this and I could say open houses right now or foreclosures and reduced or just foreclosures, right? I hit apply and now it will only show me foreclosure properties up to that price point. So I could say, click here for a free list of foreclosures. And I could put a that on the back end of a landing page. Awesome, easy stuff. Okay, this would take no time to create. Back here, we're cleaning up our website. So Google Analytics ID, if you're tracking your Google Analytics, make sure that your ID number is there. Anything else? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Some things, some people don't want like contingent listings, rentals, if you don't work rentals. So make sure that the stuff that you serve is actually checked. If you do or don't want mobile homes, if you do or don't want pending properties, all those types of things. Some people want more, some people want less. It doesn't matter to me, but make sure that it is what you actually want. Um, so, and then I'm skipping some of these items because they're just so irrelevant. This one's a big one. I would highly recommend that you change your default listing sort to always be high price to low price. What will happen over time is people will assume that the highest price listings are yours because for whatever reason that assumption is made because they're on your website. And I, I will just say this drove our price point up over time in our buyer department without having to work on it. People were always seeing higher priced listings come off of our website and made the assumption that we were carrying that inventory, which created the market impression that we were a luxury leader. Okay, so you should do the same. It's an easy little button to change. It's right here under default listing sort. And you have all these options, that's fine. You can choose by whatever, but I'm just gonna, uh, popularity is another interesting one. You could do that one. Um, that might actually help uh, properties to transact a little bit more quickly. I think price is the best, so that's what I recommend. Okay, default listing display. I like map because it kind of mimics what you see when you go to the main page on Zillow. And I believe since they've paid, I don't know, probably about a billion dollars to marketing consultants to tell them what works, just do what, what they do, okay? Um, so you're gonna want the map display up first. Extra search options, you can add these and you are done. If you need another training video on how to do everything I just said, it's at the bottom down here. You click watch now and somebody will, uh, who has not drunk three cups of coffee, Joanne, will walk you through this in very slow motion. All right, on this video right there at the bottom of this area. So again, the way that you got here, um, we're under web and IDX, website content at the bottom, watch now. All right, very easy stuff. Website embeds, this is a little bit more advanced for those of you who do your own website stuff. Some people want QR codes, right? That kind of stuff is really cool. Sometimes we want embeddable websites. Sometimes we want like a seller valuation that I could drop on my website. So if you're running your own website and you want a seller valuation that looks just like this, where you can enter your address and click get value, but those leads now show up inside your KV core. So when you're walking around, the app on your phone goes, boop, bing, you've got a new KV core lead. This is where you grab, that's the whole embed code right there. Easy. This is a no brainer, guys. Website widget. This, there, look at that, there's the full website widget. Boom, boom, boom. That just goes right on your site. So you grab this iframe and you drop that as a custom web code onto your website or have your web designer know where this is. Again, web and IDX, website embeds, embeddable codes, okay? This is so that you have all the iframe coding to be able to do this. Property search. If you want to have like a little, look at that, a little property search widget right on your website. They give them to you. You can just come in here and grab them. Boom. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, just want you guys to know that this is there and there's your QR code. You, some people like to put this QR code right on the back of their uh, business card. That's awesome if you like to do that or on a custom rider on your sign. Um, some people put it on open house flyers whatever you want, put it on your car, have it tattooed on your neck. I don't really care, but here's where you find it. Okay. This is where you find it. Alrighty. Under marketplace. Now marketplace is a very interesting place to come noodle around. It kind of looks a lot like what we were seeing before, except you're going to see some new things show up in here. Um, one that I do want you guys to know a little bit about um, is testimonial tree. Very cool. Again, not necessarily recommending everything. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Um, but that if you guys want to check that out, this is all about getting five-star reviews posted onto your uh, team agent and office websites. So this will reach out to your people automatically. It'll get those testimonials and five-star reviews, post them on Google, post them on your website, cross post them to different places. It will also stay in touch with those people to get those past client reviews for you. How cool is that? I love that. That's a really big one. Um, again, if you need your own smart number, there's another place to go to get it. Um, vanity domains. So all this stuff, some of it's redundant, some of it isn't. Um, but the other thing that I feel like is really, really helpful in here is just understanding that you can come in here, you can noodle around and you're not going to hurt anything. If you're like, I don't know what, I heard people say retargeting is important. Awesome. Come in here and read about retargeting. Watch this eight minute video so you can understand what it is. Um, and then go talk to somebody if you want and see if it's a good fit for you based on what they would need in terms of a minimum ad spend. I will tell you in most markets, if you're not spending $250 a month, if you're buying leads this way, you're not gonna get the kind of success that you really want over the course of a year. You need to spend past a certain threshold to be relevant in the market. Um, so just understand that there is a, the more you spend, the better the return on an investment becomes to a point. Okay. You don't have to spend 10,000 a month if you're not running a big team. Although some teams are spending 10, 20, 30,000 a month. So just understand um, it might scale up as you attempt to. Um, done for you. These are whole campaigns or custom ads, newsletters, all sorts of stuff. So you can actually come in here and find out, oh, I really would like to have a newsletter that goes out every single month. Great. Read about what's available. Um, okay. And then talk to them. They are very upfront on their pricing. They do nice work. Um, again, I don't know if it's the best in the industry, but if there's something that's been lagging you down, I think it's really important. Plus also your ability to connect all of your third-party tools is right here. So you can click this and it will show you what all those integrations are. Okay. So this is really, really fun stuff. I just recommend you come in here, learn a little bit more and understand how things work. Um, it's a really, really great place. And the last bit I'll show you is your business analytics. A lot of times I'll add a, or ask agents, how many leads did you get last year? Where did they all come from? Can you tell me which which uh, you know which uh, different parts of your business they came from? This allows you not only to sort by um, various uh, different types of consumer interests or where things came from. If you have a team, you get a lot more functionality. It doesn't give you every single ROI metric, but at least it gives you some basic business analytics so you can see how many people you have in each part of your business and start to track it. If yours looks like this dummy account that we're using, okay, then you want to get this total contacts. You want to get that number probably over a thousand as quickly as you can. Trust me on that. All right. Now, Here's where in the last seven minutes, I'm going to show you a couple quick tricks that are going to help you a tremendous amount um, in your business. Once you get your past clients, your past clients into your KV core, you are going to do what I'm about to show you. And this is going to change the game for you for sure. I'm very excited to show you this. Go to your smart CRM. Okay. You're going to take a past client. By the way, they'll be labeled as past client. In fact, I haven't shown you inside. Let's let's go in, in here. This is a lead. Some person um, came in and, and registered, et cetera. It looks like they were just spamming. Um, so that's no big deal. Um, but here's what we're going to do. This person would be labeled. Where are they labeled, Jeff? Well, we've got all their contact information up here, but look at the top. Client journey comes right at the top and I can click these. So they will enter your ecosystem as a new lead. They will enter your ecosystem as a new lead. Unless you brought them in, 
Up here under quick action, add contact. You enter their name info. Yes, I can call, text, and email. And I set them up as a renter, or maybe they're a buyer, but their lead status is that they're a client or that they're closed, which is a past client, by the way, closed is past client. So unless I did that, they will enter your system as a new lead. If the, the lead is generated by them subscribing on your site, that's how they'll show up, which is great. So they're gonna get some of your automatic text messages, your auto emails. That's why I love it when we have uh, telemarketers and all sorts of stuff register on here, then they just get spammed in re reply. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, we spam them back. All right, that's, that's spam wars. So that sounds like you're throwing lunch meats at each other. All right, so what can I do in here? I can set myself a new call. That's awesome. What most of you are gonna use is notes, right? If I'm talking to somebody, open this and take notes. Take notes here, dot, 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 okay? I can add a hashtag in here that will tag them. Maybe they were transferred from somebody else or whatever, right? I can add a hashtag. By just adding that hashtag, it will actually add it officially in the system and I'll be able to sort and find them by that hashtag later. I can just put it right here in the notes. I could pin this note to the top if it's like, um, do not contact for six months and I need to see that. Do not call, right? And I could pin that to top. Um, I could unsubscribe them. There's other things I can do, right? So I could click add note. But check this out. I can also send them a text message. This is one by one. If I want to do it this way, I could send them an email. I could drop a voicemail directly into their voicemail, skipping the ring on the phone altogether. I could send them a bomb bomb video. You get 10 free a month if you're with eXp, by the way. You have to pay to go past that. Very cool. More actions. What else could I do? How would I unsubscribe them? Look at this. Unsubscribe. It's right in there. I could archive them if, if they're a bozo like this person is. Um, I could turn off their behavioral alerts. So if, if they don't, you know, if they look at a property five times and I don't want my website to do that stuff, I could just turn that off for them. Maybe they're a past client. I don't want them to do that. So some database management, especially with your past clients, is important. But look at this. With your past clients, I want you to come in here and I want you to come over to market reports. And if you do nothing else, click add a market report. And let's say that this person is, like I said before, in Phoenix, Arizona. I will come down here, not area. I want to look for the one that says city Phoenix. Look at that city, Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm going to select it. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time. Once it's in that box, that works. Send report, I would su suggest either every seven days or every 14 days. Remember, you don't know this person, so they are not worth $10,000 to you yet. They're worth like $1, maybe, 50 cents, 10 cents, one cent, okay? Not much. Send report to them. What does this report look like? Why do you care? I'm just kidding. It look, <laughs> It just sends out a thing and it says, property values have gone up this much, down this much, click here for more info. They click in and it brings them back to your website. All we're trying to do is get them interested in coming back to your website. It sends them data. It's cool. Actually, I like it. And you should send this to all of your past clients. Every 14 days, that's the minimum I would recommend. And once you click add, it will add this over here. In fact, I'll show you add, okay? I could then click send now and it would send it. I'm going to do that so that this telemarketer hears from, from us. Okay. Now it's just sent. Now for every 14 days, they will receive this. What if you make a mistake? Hi, oh, I made a mistake. Okay, great. Who cares? Come in, cancel, update, turn off completely. I could remove it. That's how I just did it. Okay. No big deal. If you notice that an active campaign is on, this means it is sending um, those campaign emails like, are you still looking to buy? Are you still looking to sell? You could turn them on or off right in here. If I wanted to remove it, remove it, pause it, restart it, whatever, remove, click, done. Easy. Search alerts, some people use this, that's great. What is a search alert, Jeff? It means I could come in here and I could I title it. It doesn't matter what I title it. Um, I don't need, I just want a dynamic subject line. I would recommend at least once a week or daily, whatever you want. I like daily, to be honest with you. Um, if they have a spouse, put CC their spouse. You can put Phoenix, same thing I was just doing right here, city, or I can draw it on the map. Listing type, what do I want? I don't know. You, this is where you'd have to get specific on what you think, but here's what's fun. I could set this up for someone. Why don't I? Because conversion, will automatically set these up for every new lead that comes into your system.
and start sending these, whether you want it to or not. New leads only, not your past clients if you bring them in as past clients, as closed is what the system calls them. So put all your past clients on an Excel spreadsheet, go into the little chat and say, hey, I have my list of past clients. How do I get them in here? And have someone on the chat walk you through it. In fact, they'll even do it for you. It's really cool, okay? They'll make sure everyone gets in, make sure that they hashtag past client so you can look it up later. It's very cool. Um, I have a couple of questions. Will KV Core transition your brain into my head? No. Um, <laughs> um, can I use the landing page for people to get my relocation package? Yes, sir, you can, Rick. Jump on a separate call with me um, and I will help you with that. No problem, that's easy. Um, but it's very easy. You just are going to use the landing page function. And what we would do is set up the relocation package as the website that they go to after they submit their info. So we would do the lead capture landing page, and then we would set up the follow-up address as the download link potentially for that relocation package. And then what they would do is they would go, that when they register, they show up as a new lead in your system with whatever hashtag like relocation package, and then the relocation package download link or maybe a separate download landing page right there. You can even have a landing page go to another landing page with the download link on that one. Thanks for submitting, here you go. So two landing pages connected to each other. There's a bunch of ways to do it, I'm happy to help. Um, so those are the main questions that I'm seeing. And I know I've been screaming fast all day. I wanted to try to cram in as much as I could just to show you guys dynamically what is possible inside KV Core. Here's what I want you to know. Everything you want to do in your business is probably already inside KV Core. And if you didn't know that, you know now. So stop paying money for stuff you already got, right? The number one thing that Lexi and I have notoriously helped agents with in their business is eliminating redundant spending. When they didn't realize that this system does the thing that they're paying for over here and that this system is unnecessary entirely. So you can eliminate a lot of stuff and save money by simply just understanding KV Core does almost everything you need right now. So figure out where it is in there. And if you aren't sure, go to the chat and say, hey, does KV Core do this? Here's what I'm looking to do. And I'm, I just don't want to go buy something I don't need. The person on the other end will help you to understand where that's located in the software or the AI bot, which is very smart now, will also help you. All right, last, I'll spend like two minutes. If anybody has a quick question, otherwise we'll repost this. And then I'm sure we need like 10 follow-up videos for other KV Core stuff. Woohoo! All right, cool. Looks like for the most part, we're getting it. That's awesome, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here today. Again, if this is your first time joining us, we are the community. We're a growth and support, a coaching, training, mentorship, and connected leadership organization within EXP Realty, the greatest real estate brokerage on the planet because they put the agent at the center instead of the owner. It's awesome, why? Because the agents are the owners. It's great. All right, if you wanna learn more, go over to our website, which is thecommunitycenter.com. Learn a little bit more about what it is that we do and also get back to the person who invited you here today if you wanna join. Um, all right, thank you guys so much. If you need anything, reach out to me. Um, again, my name is Jeff. I appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to all of you soon. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Whoa!